Well, Tuesday was a violent night in Louisville after four different shootings left two people dead. The four shootings happened within a two hour window of each other. The first shooting happened just before 5 p.m. in the Taylor Berry neighborhood where one man died from his injuries. The second in the Shawnee neighborhood around 530 put one man in the hospital. The third one was a double shooting. It was just a few blocks away in the Beachmont neighborhood at around 640 that left one man dead. And the final shooting happened just before 7 p.m. in the Clifton Heights neighborhood where a woman was found shot in the foot. There it is on the map. And right now there's no indication any of them are connected, but the violence has people living in these neighborhoods worried. We have news reporter Brandon Spencer talk to neighbors in Beachmont. Some people in the Beachmont neighborhood feel that the city is out of control when it comes to violence and without correction. They believe that we will only be known as a war zone. Four shootings left two people dead in a violent night in Louisville Tuesday, including a double shooting on Taylor Boulevard in the Beachmont neighborhood. Police say they responded to a shooting at around 6.40 p.m. and found two men with gunshot wounds. Both were taken to the hospital where one man died from his injuries. John Ambers heard several gunshots fired near his home, so he went outside to investigate. So I came outside and I was looking around. I looked over that way at the White House. I saw a young man uh, come running out from behind. He had a hoodie on, a red backpack. He jumped on a blue bicycle and took off. Amber says he dialed 911, then saw several more people run from what he says is supposed to be an abandoned home. He says the frequency of crime in the city recently has been so scary that he moved his grandson's room to prevent him from getting hurt. My wife had me move him to the middle bedroom because we've had, a couple of years ago, we had drive-by at that corner house there, you know, and you just never know when a stray bullet might come through your house and hit you. Another neighbor I talked to didn't want her face on camera. She's terrified after hearing the gunshots Tuesday night and says she stays at home in order to feel safe. Well, I keep inside, I'm not moving. <laughs> I keep inside, no was nothing because I don't know the fire can go everywhere, so I keep in my sofa, I don't move. <laughs> that sentiment is being felt all across the metro, a hard pill to swallow for those who truly love where they live. I love lo living in Louisville. It's a beautiful city. You know, I've been around the country and everything. I've been in two different other countries. And Louisville's a great place to live if we can get this violence under control. Amber says in his 30 years of living in Louisville, he has never seen the violence this bad. And he's pleading for people to stop using guns for grudges and to live to fight another day. Reporting in Louisville, Brandon Spencer. Wave News.